So good morning, everybody. I hope you all had a good weekend. Our site is buzzing with the voices of young people. And we are very much looking forward to welcoming uh, upper three and lower four back on site this week. Can't wait. Now, our photo today in our Look What Surprised Me This Weekend category is... Look at that. How cool is that, Amelia, your face? Now, that is actually a damselfly. Look at those eyes. And that was, last week was National Insect Week. And that was a winning photograph of a blue damselfly. Um, and uh, it took me to a site that I was having a look at called Microsculpture, the insect portraits of Levon Biss, the coolest photographs of insects ever. They're about uh, three meters across. They're absolutely amazing. So that was a photograph I saw in my weekend newspaper, but this is one I took myself. This is what surprised me when I came back from the shops. Now you can tell the quality of the photographs not quite the same as the professional photographer, um, but I thought that was very beautiful. And I sent it to the um, people who tell me what it is, because I didn't know what it was. Clearly it's a moth, and it is a box tree moth. Very beautiful, but they devastate and eat box trees. And I did notice that my neighbor's box fence is totally decimated. So um, that little person could be responsible for it, but a very beautiful moth. So for National Insect Week, hope you all keep looking at your insects and I'll send out that live link so that you can have a look at those fantastic close-up insect photographs. Now, we've chosen a hymn today that is short but popular. And it's good, it's popular with our young ones, but older pupils, you will still know it. And it's perfect to get us in a good mood on this slightly gray day. So Mr. Hill, can we have our hymn? <laughs> So good rousing him to get us all started on a Monday morning. Now, I told you that Mrs. Clems had explained to our friends in Rwanda some of the sports day events we're doing, and they have sent us in these great clips of them practicing. Let's see Godfrey and his community. Well now, that 
puts a whole new slant on the egg and spoon. So um, perhaps you shan't attempt to carry them in our mouths and sing and do sort of press ups and things at the same time. But well done, Godfrey's Cooperative. Fantastic practicing for the egg and spoon. Now, as all of our pre-prep and all of our junior classes are back on site, we thought we would go over live to Mrs. Pugh, our junior head, to see how things are going. Are you there, Mrs. Pugh? Hello, hello everybody. Welcome, good morning. Welcome to Junior School and Pre-Prep. Uh, we're very proud to say over here that all our classes are open. Every year group is back up and running. And the girls who are in school are having a lovely time. They are practicing being in their pods. They are having time with their friends and their teachers. And of course, some of our pupils are still at home and we haven't forgotten them. So we are thinking of them, sending them messages as well. So I'd like to say a special hello to them. And we're all back up and running and we can't wait to see everybody back here as soon as possible. And I'd just like to say a really big thank you to all the teachers in junior school who have worked so hard and are also working so hard to keep everything safe for you all now that you're back. It's lovely to see everyone. Bye-bye. Now, thank you, Mrs. Pugh. So we are going in true Eurovision style. We're going to attempt to go zooming into pods this morning. And we're going to start off with Mrs. Diamond and 2D. Are you there, Mrs. Diamond? Yeah. Oh, morning, 2D. Are you ready to work? Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Good effort. Now, now we're heading to reception and we're going live to Mrs. Walker and reception W. Are you there? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's lovely to see you. We can't wait to welcome you all and, and have a great day. Good effort, girls. Now, we're now going live to Mrs. Matheson and 1M, are you there, 1M? We're here, good morning, Mrs. Holloway. Morning. morning, 1M, lovely to see you. Lots of smiling faces, fantastic. So just to give you a flavor, we've got all these pods all over the place who are starting their studies this morning, they're up for it, they're organized, they've got their pens and pencils all laid out on their desks, good to go. So how lovely to see every pre-prep and every junior class back in and we hope you all have a wonderful day. Now our senior school pupils should be making in their forms little mini movies for the final assembly on Friday. So form tutors, if you could clock that and remember that and encourage your uh, tutees to make their little mini movies and send those in and we will show them um, on the 10th of July, our final day. And we've got our special upper six assembly, that's next Monday, so I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, and year six, I think, are working on a talent show. So there's all sorts of things happening all over the school. And don't forget your virtual sports day and your virtual sports day activities. And if you can um, incorporate some fundraising for the walk to Rwanda, uh, when you do your steps, then we will send out a link and show you how, how, where you can donate. Because you could see from Godfrey's cooperative members just how pleased they are that we will be fundraising for them. Now, Reverend Burke, do you have a prayer for us at this time of industry and creativity? I'll do my best, Mrs. Holloway. We thank you, O oh God, that many in our Talbot Heath community are safely coming together again. We thank you for those new opportunities, for fresh challenges for all of us, and also that we may still find some time to be quiet, just to reflect, to be. Thank you, O oh God. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Burke. Can't wait to see you back on site. Key stage three. Bye.